Good morning, folks. It is a brisk morning here on Gunnersville, Lake Gunnersville. This is stop number one in the Toyota division. Toyota series that goes here, then to Smith, then to Chickamauga. Running it back, same three lakes as last year in the Toyota series. We got third overall in Angler of the Year. So blessed year last year. We only had like three or four hours of practice yesterday getting back from Texas. So we're going to be pre-fishing a lot today, trying to find them. Manny G's been pre-fishing. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good. You going to go crack them? I'm going to crack them. I like I'm that hat. The... Y'all watched the last video at Sam Rayburn. I was in a Ranger. Yeah. And now <laughs> I'm in yeah. a 2019 TRX. My old boat, that's my dad's now. I'm running it. This is the one I got third and seventh on on this lake. So I'm hoping hey, it brings me some luck on this Bringing that time. good juju back. Yeah. Nice. Nice. This this boat likes gunners, Bill. Yeah, you you cracked them two years in a row in that. Yeah. Go get them. They on your stuff again? No, they aren't on it. It's gonna be tough. I'm starting on a place I didn't even fish in practice. What? That I'm just risking it and just gonna go there. Wow. And then I got another place I'm gonna sit there all day. Really? I'm gonna sit one spot all day and go around and. Around. Are you really? Yeah. Well, go get them, man. So hopefully they'll bite. Throw we'll your little crankbait. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. We are fishing uh, just wintertime baits. We got the A rig, we got a trap, chatter bait, jerk bait, jig, you name it. Look at that sunrise this morning. Woo! God is so good to us. We're going to catch them today. Fishing with Garrick Robinson. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, man. Good. Let's go get him. Heck yeah, it's gonna be fun. Y'all subscribe to the channel. This is first video and hopefully a three part series. Top 25 make day three. Let's go crack. Before we jump into the tournament episode, I want to tell you about the Bass Forecast app I use a lot. It's actually free with the offer they have going right now, a $20 off uh, any purchase. So if you spend 20 bucks, you get 20 bucks off. So it doesn't have a minimum requirement and you can buy the paid app for 20 bucks. So pretty cool for the whole year. So right now, Ratings 8.4. That's pretty good, but you can use this thing to look at the future forecast. Like Thursday the 18th, I would not want to go fishing if I had the chance. I would go Sunday or Tuesday the 14th or 16th, or tomorrow, Wednesday the 10th. Says it's going to be on fire. Pretty sweet. That's exciting. Gives you bait recommendations crawl tube, jerk bait, bladed jig, lipless crank. Even a frog, we're on Gunnersville, even a frog. You can select your cover types and pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn. Post if the weather's been kind of crazy, you can decide. Best presentation speed is fast. 
secondary points, migration routes to spawning areas, flats near spawning areas, and docks. So, tells you the best cover to fish. Y'all check the Bass Forecast app linked in the description below. Let's get to the tournament. All right, here's the net. I'm gonna go ahead and extend it out. Cold morning. There he is. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. The first cast of the day, man. Wow. That's unreal. That old red eye shed. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's gonna be a, a good day. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water in the well. Sway him on the old Bubba scale. We'll have to clear our scale from Texas. Race Mary. Here we go. Thank you, Lord. He is 233 for number one. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thanks for the net. He was coming in quick. He was zooming in. I'm going to make you around behind it real quick. See if these are actually bass or if there's something else swimming around. Put some thump gel on there first. Alright. Let's get them. One on the trap. Oh, shoot. He took my tail off. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Better watch out. These are bass. Could have been anything. Could have been catfish. Could have been. <laughs> Who knows? But he took my tail off. Let's get us another mock schooler. These are prototypes. They're out now. You can get them finally they're linked down below but they were not out at the time of this toyota tournament yeah all right let's throw some more thump gel on there if we get on some jamiki fish here this could get crazy get crazy There he is. I don't think he's very big. Might keep. The, oh yeah, that's a good spot. I caught a four pound spot on that pylon yesterday. Yeah, good job. Thank you. 
Got him. There you go, folks. Another two and a quarter. That one's a spot. Might be two and a half. He's fat. Let's check him out. He is 244. All right. Thank you, Lord. Caught him throwing a little crank. Let's see. Oh. Colt tag number two. Got my cold tags in your side. In Texas. Nice. Keeper? I'll make some maybe. Okay. If it's a spot, I have to call Mark. You gonna flip him? Yeah. Alright. And it's a larger. Well she first one of the day. What did he swim bait? Yeah. Nice. Trap fish. There he is. Thank you. That'll work. Another dude. Little red eye shit. Oh, my gloves caught. Woo! Number three. Three babies. Take these three with two sixes. <laughs> he is two twelve. Two twelve. You got one? Nice. Come over here. Three time. You got a big one? I told you there's normally one on there. <laughs> I just got bit up before that too. Did you really? Yeah. Ooh! You got a fighter. Oh, that's a stud. Nice, man. Right behind the piling? Yep. Good job. Thanks, sir. Boom. Yes. Thanks, sir. Dude, there you go. There's a three. All right. We're catching a few here, folks. That's awesome, man. Got him. Yep. The Demiki. That's a crappie? Oh, man. Wow. He smoked it. <laughs> he came off the bottom, too. Did he? Yeah. Big old crappie. Where you at? Right here? Nah, we'll get it. There he is. Net, please. Oh, that's a good one, too. Alright, thank you, Lord. On that mock schooler. <laughs> thank you. There we go. How about it? We got a keeper on two on the trap, one on a crank, one on the mock schooler. You can come up here to get it. That's awesome. <laughs> Way to find them right there. There we go, folks. Number four. 
we're gonna be calling out today. We back me up a little bit, please. Two forty-seven. Thank you, man. Heck yeah. 245. Let's go. Good job. Thank you. It would just be another crappie. <laughs> Had like four of them shoot up at it. You can cast up here with me. You're fine. I'm just going to make you right behind it. Little guy. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Oh, he's a spot. I think spots only have to be 12. There we go. Number five. Quit it. 186. Boba scale's shutting off weird. There we go. We'll call him out quick anyway. Look at that. Dude had a lamprey on him. These things are crazy. <laughs> they give you the heebie jeebies. <laughs> yeah. Dude hit it so hard he knocked slack in it. There you go. Oh no. Thank you though. Gosh. Thank you. He's a nice one. Gosh. That'll go. Thank you, Lord. Heck yeah, it will. <laughs> That's a big old spot. First call of the day right there, folks. Got about 12 pounds. Maybe. Probably about 11. He is two, that's my big one of the day, 264. Can you believe that? We got 12 pounds even. Thank you for the net. Probably wasn't a bass. I don't know what happened there. He's decent, yeah. I think he's gonna call. Yeah, you betcha. Heck yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> There's a three. Yeah, not quite. Look at his lip. That's a derp. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. He said, Oh crawdad, claw got me. Oh, crawdad claw got me. 
He is 250. Cole's out number three. Now we have 12.30. Yeah, yeah. He actually pulled drag on me. Oh, come on, dude. Be a giant. Oh, gosh, this one's fired up. That's a spot. Gosh, he fought so hard. <laughs> That's over a three pounder. My goodness. That's incredible. You got one? Yep. That huh? was hung. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's a healthy spot. My goodness. Just pulling so much current. There's just a current break they're sitting on. He looks bigger than 287. I'm going to reweigh him. I thought he was going to be over three. Make sure I didn't have it zeroed or something. Yep, 291. Pulls out number one. Healthy fish, wow. We got three big spots in there. He was dogging me, wow. My line was like sitting out here on my hook set and it flipped my bail. I was like, the last two did that to me. Not casting it, just dropping it. Got him hooked though, anyway. That's incredible. Nah, well. Yeah, yeah, he's getting bigger. Um, he feels like a spot too. Oh gosh, that's a good one. <laughs> good job. Dude, they keep getting bigger. Thank you. He got smaller now that he's in the boat. Pulling out, folks. Every drop, we're just loading up. Pretty incredible. He is 262. Pulls out number two. Wow. Our smallest one's 250. Hey, there goes a spot. Poor guy. Getting rid of a spot. I almost don't want to. I love those big old spots. <laughs> I'd love to see a four or five pounder in here. That'd be, that'd be cool. If they're gonna keep reloading like this, I don't see why one wouldn't move in. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah, decent, I think. I don't know. He's fighting hard. Oh, uh -oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pulling drag. Oh, gosh. 
Are you serious? That's a spotted bass, bro. No way. Good job. No way. That's the biggest spot I might have ever caught on Gunnersville. He's over four, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for the net, bro. Look at that spotted bass, folks. I think he's over four. That's a giant. Gosh. So he wanted that mock schooler. He is 439. No way. Pulls out number four. Four and a half pound spot, dude. Wow. That's incredible. That's incredible. I can't believe that. We're pulling out a two and a half pound largey with a four and a half pound spot. My goodness. I got two big old, three big old spots in there still. And we pulled one out. Wow. Just retied. We caught so many fish right here. God is good. It's a big one right there. Let's see if we can get him. Um, nah. They're down there, bro. Get you some. <laughs> wow. He's not gonna help. That's crazy. That's a good one. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. I'll flip it. Thank you. Oh, gosh. She's bigger than I thought. I don't know if he's going to help. Those are so healthy, dude. They are. Wow. That's crazy. Come in with a limit of spots for 20. That'd be something. Quit. Quit. He is gonna help. 256 helps by five hundredths of a pound and gets rid of number three. Another spot. Number three is that large. That's crazy. Gets rid of the dirt. What do we have for weight? 15 pounds, let's go. Little guy. Well, no, just kidding. I, I don't know how big he is. He's nice though. Yep, he felt little when I set the hook. Oh gosh, he's bigger. He's way bigger than I thought. Come on, bud. That's incredible. Thank you. I don't, I don't know if that spot's gonna call out or not. I think he will. I think he'll call out the one we just caught. Gosh. He is, yeah, oh yeah, he's over three. 307, he calls out the spot we just caught. Can you believe that, dude? We're calling out big old spots. Bye-bye, number three. Wow. They're getting bigger. Yeah, they are. So fun, dude, wow. Too bad it's not a fun day. You can whack them with me up here. Oh, I know. <laughs> Gosh. He bent my hook. Should probably tie a new one on. Bent hook's never as strong as it was. I'm gonna kick myself if I bend one out.
Yeah, it's warming up nice. There he is, a little guy. Well, oh, just kidding. He's a good one. He's gonna pull out. I might be here longer than two minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the net. Oh, yeah. Yee. I thought he was gonna be like that four when I saw him. That'll work. They gonna spot. Yeah, they're loaded in here right now. Oh, we had this Bobby Garland on the other day. We throwing them out with some soft gel. The tape that you gave me. Yeah? Sitting there rubbing some soft gel on it. And got out there and went to jig at one time. And Calling number two. two. That's awesome. He's three pounds even. Dude, I'm... They're loving that thump gel, man. Call out number two. Throwing a largey back for a spot. I got four spots in here, I think. And a largey. Whatever it takes. Begging. Come on, buddy. You betcha. Nice Thank one, you, man. Heck Thank yeah. You. Let's go. He's probably even 15. Don't. Th yeah, don't throw him back. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, dude. I bet he's 15 anyway. Like he is. You can measure him if you want. I don't know if it matters. Neither one of us know if they have to be 15 inches or not. Oh, Skipjack are in. Skipjack are in, Sesh. Got one. Got him? Yeah, he's a good one. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna call or not. Flight line though. Yeah, he's not gonna call. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Come back and they're biting again. That's incredible. Ain't no way. That's a good one. He followed it so far. Gosh, yeah, he should call. Dude, he he followed it all the way under the boat. Like from the piling all the way. That's crazy. He is so fat. I think he's gonna be three two. I'm not sure. So many big spots. Wow. <laughs> he's I think he's like two and a, two and three quarters. Our smallest one is 264. I think it's a spot. <clears throat> he is 269. He calls number five. Wow. Unreal. 
Look at that. Big old spots, bro. Wow. All right. It's time. What a morning. Little thing's impressive. <laughs> Hope you get him, man. We'll see ya. Thank you. Unreal. <laughs> That's incredible, dude. Get a little something to eat. Yep, yep. That old man's fishing a creek channel out there. Oh boy, here we go, stretching out for the sevens. Yeah, somebody sitting on that piling. Yeah, he was sitting way down off of it. He was. He wasn't doing the same technique, that's for sure. No. Two years ago. Nice. What type are they like? They're just normal foundation, uh, crawl space foundation, or? Uh, it just depends on the lot we got. Yeah. Slab. Oh gosh, smoke it. He's coming at me. I can't even tell how big he is. He's a good one. Dude, he smoked it. Oh man, I thought he was bigger than that. I'll flip him. Gosh, you see how fast he was coming in? Oh my gosh. He hit that thing like a bullet and was running like Forrest Gump. He's not gonna help. Dude, look at him. He's clamped down on my thumb like a catfish. Wow. Woo! There he is, good one, big one. He's right here, he's right here. Oh, just kidding, I got him hooked sideways. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, joke's on you. <laughs> just kidding. Wow, dude, he ate that thing. I thought he was a big one. Gosh. That's funny. Yeah, he felt bigger than like anything I've hooked today. <laughs> oh my fault. I'm getting hot. No, you're good. Man, he was, he good felt job. like a giant. Man, he's got that thing good. He had that rod doubled over though. Dude, he did. And his head shakes were like. I, I don't know. I don't think they were head shakes. I think he was just pulling weird. Yeah. Because those were head shakes of like a five or six. That's crazy. He had me going. Feel like people have to struggle today calm and sunny i don't know it's winter time no, there he is good one i keep saying that but this one is a good one yes he feels like it feels bigger than that last one yeah yeah that's a good one there he is he, he's gonna call thank you good job thank you i think he's gonna call i don't know actually Man, dude they're dogging that trap today 
I think a two, 270 or something. Woo, he got smaller. Man, I'm going to quit saying good one. He literally felt like a four or five. Alright, our small one is 269. He's 274. He barely calls out number five. So much for having all spots. Look at this guy. Gosh. I'm gonna reweigh him. That's such a fat spot. I hate to throw this dude back. That's pretty. Two seventy one. See, you, bud. Wow. Man, he felt good. We're gonna run into a six, dude. And I'll be like, yeah, okay. That one's actually a big one. <laughs> yeah. You gotta keep saying it to get me in a hurry to get up there. <laughs> Do you see my rod? See what? Do you see my rod? Yeah, I think we doubled up. Dude, he was like, I got a 65 pound braid on here and he was just dogging me. I know. I've caught big trap fish and all three of these, they're mad. They all felt like big trap fish. Last year in the Toyota, I pulled up to my first area like 10 minutes in the end of my cast i get bit and i wouldn't have caught him if i didn't have braid he was like out there went boom, six two oh, yeah big one all right one hour Valentine's Day. <laughs> Brought the babies to their first weigh-in. Hey Andy. Hey girl. She got her eyes open. What's up, Seal? What's up, bud? He's sleeping. Got mom and scout. And this this is a lot now. This is what happens a lot of times. <laughs> We've got a rocker. Okay, the boys caught him. We've been waiting for a bag for 45 minutes. There is still a long bag line. My co's waiting. Uh, thank goodness, getting this bag. Went over, said hi to Cody, and the twins, and my mom. It is Valentine's Day. Crazy. Have make us have a tournament. All these guys away from their women on Valentine's Day. But we're gonna go get some sushi tonight if we ever weigh in. We got a good bag. We pulled out twice at the end there. You did not get to see it. I didn't have the cameras rolling anymore. We got a good bag. We got three spotted bass in our lobby. Vegas. Excited to go weigh in. Bag them up. Hey Mark. Norby. Andrew Norby got us good Alabama crew. Five in the bag. I guess you got 22, don't you? <laughs> close, Man, almost. Close. 
Five in the bag. You know what we're doing? 19 pounds, eight Thank ounces. You. We're going to bring 20 something tomorrow. Jody wants a picture of this spot. Jody I got spot. a big old spotted bass in here. Sure Woo. Enough, man. You got a spotted bass, Jody. I'm looking. Look at it. When you catch one like that, you just got to look at it. Let's weigh that spotted bass, Norby. Just yes, so sir. Say. I think he's four three and a half. Three four points. and a half. Oh, oh, way bigger than that. Four, six. Thank you. On a spotted bass. Yes, sir. Four, six spots. What I'm talking about. Ready? Ready. Barrett and Robinson. I'm pulling you up in that Tennessee. Two of the bottom. All right, just weighed in. I'm stoked. We had a 4.6 spot. We weighed 19.8. That has us in like 25th or 30th. There's still like 30 people to weigh in. Crazy. Crazy. Boys caught them. But we're going to see where that puts us. Go home, rig up, do it again tomorrow. Just getting home after the weigh-in. What an incredible day one. A great start. Again, I can't believe how well they caught them. We are rigging up for the next day. It's just amazing the bites we were getting on the new mock schooler, which is out and linked down below. So is that Valor targeting jig head. Use my links. You can only get them at the places linked in the description. The mock schooler. Also check out the other new mock baits that are out. Pretty sweet. And then the old red eye sheds, what we caught the rest of them on. Two baits. Pretty simple fishing. Bigger fish calling out on the red eye shed. So we caught a bunch of spotted bass and, and largies at the beginning. It was amazing how many we caught in a row. Just a blessed day. You guys been asking about Ned updates? Here he is. He's hiding behind a rock. I don't even see him back there. He's hiding. Crazy thing is, he is not one to eat right now. I don't know if it's uh, if Ned's actually a girl or what's going on but uh prepping to spawn i think and in a really weird mood but before we get out of here today we're gonna finish rigging up for tomorrow but i want to share something with you if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know that i talk about the lord and the bible and the only reason i do that is because when you know that you know that you know you can't not share what the Lord has done in my life. He's done so much, so many big and little testimonies, little and big miracles in my life that I know, that I know, that I know that He is God. He is Lord. He is King. He is uh, so many good things. And He has done so much for me in my life. So I can't not share it with you guys because of that. And I do it for you uh, to help you grow your faith and help you see what God has done in my life. It is so true and it is so amazing. I just want to end the video with a verse. Psalm 46 10 says, he says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So exalt the Lord today. Lift him high in your own life. When you lift the Lord high and give your worries, your troubles, your anxious thoughts, your sin, your struggles, whatever you're going through, when you say, Lord, take it, take it from me. I trust in you. God, I put my hope in you. He will, and he'll give you his peace. Pray for his peace and his, his love to fill you, and you will be filled. He'll give you joy through it all. But... He'll do testimonies. As you seek Him, you'll see His hand in your life. You will see the miracles and the path He lays out before your feet when you seek Him. So seek Him today. We're going to get out there for day number two tomorrow on Gville. We need another good sack. Let's go catch Him. See you guys next episode Fishing with Norby.